Okay, shalom, shalom, kum yasha'ala, kuholoyim la, yahawa ba Hashem yawashai, ba Hashem rakaha kodash. Double honors to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well, that by the Spirit taught us this beautiful truth. Just want to say the water to all the Akiyam and Akwaf that's out here sincerely, keeping the laws, the statutes, and commandments of Yahawa ba Hashem yawashai to the best of their ability. This is Yachanan Nawaf, just coming at you with another quick lesson, brand that is edifying by the Spirit. And um, just another one of those lessons, man. Showing the downfall of Esau's kingdom. <laughs> you know, and this is something that we pray for, man. We be looking for tokens, man, from our Lord. You know, as to showing us that he's breaking this place down on our behalf. And that the prayers are actually working. So continue praying, man, for the downfall of this kingdom, man. But this is just, just a segment of it. Um, this is in the Daily Mail. Fast food chains have found a way to get around ever rising minimum wages. And it is not good news for staff. <laughs> hey, man. So you already know. They they clipping hours, man. They clipping hours. They, they, they clipping employees. Because I don't know what they really thought, man. You know, Esau, that's just like with the, um, the union workers, right? With all the big three. If you remember all that was going on a few months back. You know what I'm saying? Where, the, you know, the car companies went on strike. And um, they ended up getting them all those good raises. All, you know, and... All they done was laid those people off. You know, it didn't help. They, they, you know, a few of them ended up benefiting, but the majority, really, it, it hurt. You know, it really hurt a lot of workers. You know what I'm saying? And it's so many jobs being. A lot of these companies are just, just like fuck it, man. They, they, <laughs> they closing down a lot of sectors of, of, of all portions of, um, you know, employment, man. So. You could kind of see it coming with this right here, you know, to a certain extent, because they're trying to, you know, if Esau can, can buy a robot to do your job, he's going to do that. He'll he'll prefer to spend, you know, top dollar, come out of, you know, whatever amount to get that machine. But he knows over time that particular robot or machine or AI is what they're trying to go to next. They're going to, you know, they're going to use it to they're going to make their money back at some point. It's going to pay for itself, you know. But anyway, it says fast, fast food chains in California are replacing staff with digital order kiosk as a way to and you know they be asking for tips on these kiosks like somebody you know handled your shit for you <laughs> it says as a way to cut costs after the minimum wage in the state was um hiked to twenty dollars an hour right after two years of price rises caused by higher cost of food of course you know the inflation gonna play in it Restaurant bosses say they cannot raise them again. So they are looking at other ways to cut their overheads. And with labor, the biggest cost, having fewer staff is the easiest way. You know they're getting rid of people, man. $20 an hour? You know how many combos they will have to sell? they already trying to give you give your ass a $5 combo. You know, you, you, they didn't got rid of the little dollar menus and shit like that. It says it is a cruel irony for workers and their unions that battle for years for higher wages. Yep, it's been, man, they've been battling for that shit for about a decade or so. A move critics warned would lead to um, job losses. Nobody wanted to listen, right? Uh, harsh guy. It's probably one of them damn um, East Indians. A major Burger King franchisee. And this motherfucker got 140 stores. God damn. So you know he caking. You know he was going to do something. 140 restaurants on the West Coast. Plans to have digital kiosks in all of them in two months. Golly. And, and you know he about to spend some bread for those. But guess what? He know, He's knowing that in the meanwhile, he's going to save money. In the long run, until it says until the wage hike, he planned to roll them out over the next five to ten years. So he just jumped the gun. He like, fuck it. I'm going to go in. I'm just going to get these shits. The controversial wage hike. This shit is stupid. California, man, that, that governor out there is pretty damn stupid, though. He's been doing some real dumb shit. <laughs> the controversial raise hike, $4 more than the minimum wage in the state for any other job, was introduced by California Governor Gavin Newsom at chains with more than 60 locations in the U.S. So if you got more than 60 locations, damn. Since it came into effect on April 1st, workers have already complained of getting fewer hours and some workers have been laid off. Staff at Pizza Hut and Roundtable have already lost their jobs after bosses said they could not afford to pay it. McDonald's, Chipotle, 
and Starbucks warned they will pass on the extra cost, but Burger King operator Guy says putting up price risk loses too many customers. Yeah, I ain't been to a fast food restaurant in so long, man. I, I don't get people going. The food already is expensive, but you, you will get more bang for your buck if you go to, you know, um, your local Walmart or something, man. You're trying to have, you know, or you can eat burgers and fries, man, for three, four days, man, for, for the price of a combo these days. It says, okay, he says over the past year, he had put prices up, but between 8 to 10 percent compared to between 2 to 3 percent in a normal year. The majority of that is going to get absorbed in the inflation of our food costs, he told Business Insider. So we're not even compensating for most of the labor costs that we're going to be experiencing with this legislation. He added that any more price rises are going to result in a significant impact on our traffic. So he has found another way to cut wage costs. So you can clearly see he doesn't care. He don't give a shit about an employee. He doesn't care about you humans. He's like, look, man, y'all can go. I'll get these goddamn robots to do this shit. He says, we have kiosks in probably about 25% of our restaurants today. And, you know, some people, man, they'll 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 strike against stuff like this. They'll be like, nah, you know what? I'm not going to venture your restaurant if you got kiosks. I prefer to have a person speak with me about my order. <laughs> you know, it says, however. The other 75% are going to have kiosks in the next probably 30 to 60 days, so he's not playing no games. Under his previous strategy to roll out kiosks more slowly, only adding them to new restaurants or those being remodeled, it would have taken 5 to 10 years. But now we are just going ahead and installing the kiosks in every single restaurant in response to the legislation to be able to balance some of these labor costs that are hitting us. So... What's that that script? Let's get that one scripture where it talks about um the um when the righteous are in authority, the people rejoice, but when the wicked are in a let me see how it is. Um is that Proverbs? Yeah, Proverbs twenty nine and two. When the righteous are in authority, the people rejoice, but when the wicked beareth rule, the people mourn. And that newsome guy, man, he's he's a weirdo, man. <laughs> he been doing all kinds of weirdo shit since he's been um in office, man. He had to have known that this was going to have some backlash, man, so to speak. Now these people, the very people that you were trying to help, you done you done harmed because you didn't balance it. See what, you know, and the scripture talks about balance. You have to have balance. You have to do everything um decently and in order. That's what the scripture says as well. Let me see um And Esau don't have no decency about him, nor no order. Oh, it's Lockyer. Spelled order wrong. Maybe that's what it is. Yep, um, 1 Corinthians 14 and 40. Let all things be done decently and in order. See? These these so-called white people, man, they don't have no decency or no order about them. They, 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 they have a portrayal of it. It's like a um, an illusion of it, man. But these people don't know what the hell they're doing. This is the reason why the whole earth is out of whack, man. Okay, it says, um, self-serve kiosks are not a new site in the major fast food chains. They've been doing, they've been working on it for a minute. And matter of fact, all this shit right here is coming down to um that that MOTB, that Revelations thirteen and sixteen, and all this self checkout stuff, the shit that you see at Walmart, all this you know you're not seeing cashiers no more. They're digitalizing all those those platforms. So eventually what's going to happen is you're not going to be able to shop with these people unless you have that chip, man. Matter of fact, let me get that real quick. Now that I think about it with those, you know, that's the spirit, though. Um, Revelation 13 and 16, where you're not going to be able to buy or sell anyway. And that's what all the see all these digital systems. It's not going to be anything for them to hook up because it's already in the digital platform, so to speak. It's already set up. The, the infrastructure is set up to do it. It ain't going to be nothing but a over click of a button transfer over. We're not accepting cash anymore. <laughs> Revelation 13 and 16. And he calls it all both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads. And that no man might buy or sell, save he that had the mark 
or the name of the beast or the number of his name. So you're not going to be able to buy or sell unless you have that mark. And we know that that mark is the, is the chip, man. Don't let none of these camps like IUIC fool you into um, talking about it's not the, the, that chip, man, because it is that chip. They're already implementing that. It's already going down. This is what it's all boiling down to. Everything is becoming digital. And, and they're, they're, they're about to get ready to plug y'all asses in. <laughs> That's why we need, um, you know, uh, that mercy from Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, man. It's time to repent. High time to awake out of sleep. You Jake, man. You so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. You, 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 you know, you're 300 pounds and you addicted to this shit already. Your kids are addicted to it. Your kids are screaming, going to be having headaches and withdrawals from them damn chicken nuggets. Or them, 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 I, I can't even say they chicken, goddamn it. They probably ain't no telling what the fuck that shit is. The french fries that don't rot. The cheeseburgers that don't rot with all the damn preservatives in it. And, and people are addicted. Them, them damn fast food restaurants, that food got fucking drugs in it, man. That's why people can't resist it. Revelation 14 and 9, it says, And the third angel followed them, saying with a loud voice, If any man worship the beast and his image and, re and receive his mark in his forehead or in his hand, the same shall drink of the wine of the wrath of Yahweh, which is poured out without mixture into the cup of his indignation. And he shall be tormented with fire and brimstone in the presence of the holy angels and in the presence of the Lamb. So if you take this, this man's shit, you make him your God, the Lord is going to destroy your ass, man. So y'all better, y'all better stay away, man. And also chapter 16, verse two, it says, and the first went and poured out his vial upon the earth and there fell a noisome and grievous sore upon the men which had the mark of the beast and upon them which worshiped his image. So if you take it, man, you're going to be through. It's not going to be no coming back, not going to be no repenting from that, man. You've made you've made that man your God. That's pretty much what you're saying. If you allow this man to uh, implement a damn chip into you, y'all better repent, man, and call on your how about Shimei was shy, man. Okay, so it goes on to say the self serve kiosks are not a new sight in the major fast food chains. They were being slowly introduced before the pandemic, and that rollout gained momentum during it. See. A lot of cash, a lot of people start stop using cash. A lot of these banks, they stopped dealing with cash, man, during the pandemic. See, a lot of people don't know what, what was really going on in the backdrop, why they had your ass in the house. They was already pushing stuff like this through. Panera Bread led the way in 2014 by introducing self-service kiosks in all locations. And in 2017, McDonald's followed suit. Shake Shack equipped all its locations with self-serving ordering kiosks by the end of last year. See, look at all these businesses that's doing that. But hey, these shits got cameras in them. They, <laughs> you know, they, 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 it's going to get to a point where you're going to be able to walk up and they're going to know exactly who you are. They're going to ask you your usual today, Becky. You walk into a damn Starbucks. Would you like your regular cappuccino with such and such, such and such, your frappuccino with this, this, uh, this, this, and, uh, you know, they, 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 it's gonna be like um, what's that? The movie Minority Report with um Tom Cruise, where he they had that scene where he was walking through everywhere. It had all those digital um billboards and shit, asking him did he want to try this or try that. Hey, look, man, this is what is it? This is what Esau wants. Okay, so it says Shake Shack equipped all its locations with self-serving order ordering kiosks by the end of last year. Bosses said customers tend to order larger meals when using kiosks compared to traditional cashier orders. See, so they like, hey, we making money, you know, we're going to make our money back and it's paying for itself. So fuck you if you need a job, you know, and only people that's going to have a job is, you know, pretty much overall. They're going to have a manager work the shit out of them, <laughs> you know, uh, assistant manager, maybe two other people to run a restaurant that used to have take 30, 40 people to run, man. It says, Katie Forgetty, Shake Shack's chief financial officer, said, when a guest goes to our kiosk and they see the visual merchandising of our menu, we see that they have a higher value order than a traditional cashier order. We see because, you know, Esau, it, what they do is they use um, visuals. They use colors. They, they, they make the shit look all nice and presentable. You know how it go, man. 
You see that shit like how they show the commercials on TV? Everything is all mouth-watering, the cheese is all fucking drizzled, and, you know, and it's just stretching as long as you pull the piece of slice up, and, you know, the way that they give you these visuals. See, Esau understand that, because Esau search out things. Don't think that Esau don't search. Esau search out every damn thing, even down to the preservatives and, and, and the seasonings and all this shit that they using to actually get you hooked, right? See, so we're not ignorant of Satan's devices. Let's get, let's get that real quick. 2 Corinthians 2 and 11. And it reads, Lest Satan should get an advantage of us, for we are not ignorant of his devices. See, we're not ignorant of how this man gets down. You have to know your enemy. You have to know how your enemy gets down. Other than that, you're going to lose. Don't, no one goes to war and not, you know, do reconnaissance, man, on the enemy, man. You have to, you know, even if you don't get all the damn research in, you know, on them, at least you want to know, okay, all right, <laughs> what are they capable of, so to speak? And we know that Esau Edom is capable of any kind of lie. He's capable of any type of um um, um illusion. He's the ultimate liar. You have to you have to look at everything that this man says and say, uh, you know what, this motherfucker's a lie until I figure out otherwise. And the scripture says to never trust him, <laughs> never trust thine enemy, right? Then, you know, of course, you know, you go into the comments, you know, people talking all kinds of shit, but same old thing, but they don't see it for what it really is, man. That MOTB is coming. That mark of the beauty and the beast, baby, that's what it's all boiling down to. And I don't get it with these people, man. You got to have, you got to have fast food that bad. You can't cook, man. I ain't no way one of these restaurants making a better sandwich than me. You know, for McDonald's, I don't give a fuck who it is. None of these uh, uh, five guys, I don't care who, none of them making a better burger than me. As a matter of fact, I'm, you know, I'm, 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 I would normally bang on the, on the turkey burger, something even more healthier. No, I want some French fries. You know, I don't deal with French fries like that. But you know what I'm saying? I, I, I cut up a potato, man. Get nice with them. Make my own, you know, um, um, you know, uh, uh, uh French fries, man. You can make a damn shake at home. You can make a smoothie at home. Like, what do these people have that's making you go and spend eighteen to twenty dollars for a goddamn combo? You going in? You 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 buying that the, the damn soda, which is gonna fuck you all up. You can actually have natural soda, or just water. Shit, you know. Hey, I'm a tea man myself. I like tea. I like water. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Shit. I mean, you know. But all these things that they're offering, say, it, you know, even like a subway. Or Jersey, I can make a far better, I wouldn't go to Subway to eat shit anyway. You know? I get my own deli slices. Put whatever I want on it, you know what I'm saying? Dice up my own lettuce, dice up my, you know, have my own, you know, um, whole hookup, man. You can do, you look, when you see all this shit, I'm like, man, I can do that at the crib. Hell, even if you want a pizza. You can you can make a, a fresher pizza. Just you know, go to Walmart, get the dough if you want to, get your little sauce. But shit, you can buy just a regular old cheese pizza, you know, for about four or five bucks. You know what I'm saying? Out of um, you know, the, the free frozen frozen section. You know, they even got the cauliflower ones. That's a lot more healthier. Shit, man, put what you want on there. I be I dice up onions. I like um olives on my shit. You know what I'm saying? You know, I like um more like a Greek pizza. You know, like a vegetarian Greek pizza. Other than that, you know what I'm saying? You can dice up some turkey. You can dice up some chicken. You can toss that shit in your oven. And you got a far better pizza than they got. Than, than they than they presenting you. What the hell are you door dashing and Ubering? You know, um, Uber eating. And man, that shit is expensive as hell. But, I, but I don't, hey, people doing it though. People doing stuff like that. Okay, so this person says, this is what happens when government and unions get involved in business. Job loss, <laughs> higher prices and automation. Yeah, you ain't got a point there. This person says, you couldn't see that coming. You would not force businesses to lose money. They won't be in business under that plan. Demand away. Be careful, though. You're usually shooting yourself in the foot. Utopia doesn't exist. Not sure what, why that's so hard to grasp for so many. <laughs> this person says, I own two businesses and we've automated as we go as we got fed up with employees with attitudes, laziness, and we got rid of unemployment costs. God damn. Workman compensation, 
ever increasing of government intrusion and gain business and all because we made our product cheaper and easier for everyone to purchase. Well, hey, that's hey, that's how it goes, man. Esau, hey, Esau will fuck everything up for you. And, and the attitudes are horrible when you go to these places. That's what I'm saying. Like, you got, it, it's a dude, I don't even know how he even, you know, he, he shot a motherfucker over some guacamole at Chipotle. You got people actually killing people over mail. People jumping over the counters at these restaurants. So, and then you don't know what people doing in the background. I don't trust none of that shit. I ain't, I'm not trusting nobody to be making no food off set that I can't see. I'm pulling up in the drive through and I don't know. I, I, I ain't see how you you put the food together. No, nah, no, nah, I'm straight on that. I can make that shit at the house. I, I, I haven't come across anything that's that good where I got to go and I just must have it. I got to have it from this restaurant. All that shit is easy as hell to make because most of the shit they doing is out of the can into the pan anyway. Most of that shit is, is, you know, it's only a few places where you can go and get real fresh ingredients when it comes to um this fast food. Only, you know, like five guys, they, 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 they go pretty fresh about their stuff, but it's expensive as hell to go to five guys. A damn cheeseburger at that motherfucker for some fries and a drink, man, psh, you might as well, psh, come on, bro. You might, <laughs> you might as well do that all on your own. For real, for real. Go get you some good night, um, 90, 10 or something like that, or, you know, some good ground chunk. You no, know? you can do all that shit at the house, man. I'm telling you. But anyway, I'm not going to keep this long. You can clearly see what's going on. But it's another blow to America, man. It's another blow to, um, uh, you know, Esau's societal norms, I would say. This is a Ecclesiastes 25 and 7. I'll end out with this. There be nine things which I have judged in my heart to be happy, and the tenth I will utter with my tongue. A man that have joy of his children, and he that liveth to see the fall of his enemies. And that's what we're watching, man. We're watching the fall of good old America because those was, was America's favorite pastimes. Shit, you used to be the man, you know, going to a McDonald's and going, you know, just taking the kids out to eat. You can't do that shit no more like that, man. That was something that people used to go out and really do and enjoy. And it was somewhat of a treat. You know what I'm saying? You know, you, but you got a damn restaurant on every corner now. Everybody fighting for business. I see new restaurants open up every other day. Like, damn, how the fuck? Another chicken place? Another, you know, another pizza shop, another, you know, so you'd be thinking like, well, how are these people, you know, you don't know that business is not really that good for certain stuff, but hey, they jump into it like they know the bit, hey, like they know it, man. So it's what it is. I know a lot of shit closed down though um, during the pandemic, though, a lot of stuff, especially like um, hey, the, the so-called Chinese took a real hit. Because when they went to talking about that, that bat, that bat soup over in Wuhan. Man, all, look, people stopped going to these Chinese food restaurants and all that shit immediately. Those were the ones I started to see shutter the quickest. Because, you know, I was, you know, I'm, you know, I drive for a living. So me, you know, driving across city to city to city and I'm seeing places like that, you know, motherfuckers stop going to them places. And, and, and right now, really only in the hood is, is, is Chinese food because you niggas will go buy anything. Only in the hood you'll still see a Chinese food restaurant like that. You know, but anyway, with that, I pray that the lesson was edifying. Kwame Ashola.